everyone, Gina here with Belly Beats, here today to show you how to roll my 7mm diamond shape. I love these shapes and sizes that I have. Now, if you're not familiar with me, I have a website called bellybeads.com, and I actually sell the paper strips, so you don't have to cut them, and you can just create. You can roll them and then create them. So this is my 7mm diamond shape, and when you purchase them, they come in these this really nice packaged um, bag. Now the seven millimeter, you get 41, you can make 41 beads out of it and it's two strips. And I'm gonna roll them in front of you today. I also wanna show you that I have this six millimeter, look how tiny they are. This is the six millimeter diamond and you can create 96 beads from it. And that's one strip and then I have a larger strip which is the 12 millimeter and you get 23 beads out of it and that's two strips. I have several different sizes to choose from so let's get started. I got this really pretty purple paper and this is just one strip for for my six millimeter I'm sorry my seven millimeter all right, so let me go ahead and grab my seven millimeter. Where you at? Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. and there's one strip and my second strip right here. And this is like a really nice purple. All my strips have different patterns, different colors. Um, I'm really proud of it because we do take pride in cutting them precisely the, the, the right shapes and measurements. I also have my, uh, these are paper bead rollers from JP Fun, and I'll put everything, the link below. This, uh, I like the way she does this. It's one, two, and three. It makes it so much easier. My favorites are one and two. They, she has six different um, rollers. And I purchased them all. <laughs> um, my most favorite I use is the 330 seconds and the 530 seconds. I also use clear Elmer's glue. I also sell this on my website, three bottles for $1. And it comes filled with Elmer's glue. Now you can use any kind of glue. I just prefer this one. And to make sure that this doesn't get clogged when you're not in use, use the cap. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to use the number one. And I'm going to condition my paper, meaning running it through my fingers to create a more smoother piece, rolling it through here. And I'm going to place it right in the slot. And then start rolling. I always use my index finger for leverage there. It just rests right upon my index finger. And I start rolling. Roll. Nice tension would be good. I don't, you know, what's a nice tension? Not too tight, not too loose. <laughs> and if you haven't visited my website, it's bellybeads.com. I'll put every, all the links below. And I invite you to my Facebook uh, page. Uh, my group is called Paper Beads Born Pretty. We have a lot of fun in there. A lot of ideas shared and a lot of uh, jewelry posts. All right, we're coming to the end. I usually flip it over. And I place a generous amount of glue. I'm, I'm always using a lot of glue because then I just spread it right through the entire um, bead. Now the second one, condition it. Be careful because a lot of them are so thin. Look at that. Because they're cut so precise. Look at that. They're like, it's perfect ends. I'm going to put, place a little glue on that. I'm going to line the second strip with the first strip at the end. Press it on there. Put my finger on there for a little bit so it sticks. Now make sure you take your time with the second one because this is, you know, the end result. We want to make sure that it's nice and even. Make sure I'm in the camera there. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do now. It really allows me to keep up this content. And thank you for supporting my channel. All right, so we're getting to the end. Now, since this is so delicate, the end, I'm just going to place it on the bead itself, the glue. 
and then I'll roll the second strip into it and see and then I roll the entire thing oh the sun's out and there you go that is the seven millimeter diamond shape the six millimeter diamond shape and the 12 millimeter diamond shape now this would be ready for dipping in the PC petrifier which allows it to harden I only do one dip because the PC petrifier is a wood hardener and it will shrink the bead so I only use one so it allows it to get inside the um, the hole and so it doesn't collapse and then I'll glaze it with my polycrylic min wax I also have a video on how to do this too so go check that one out alright so there we go our seven millimeter diamond shape I would love to hear from you you can place in the comments below what your thoughts are on this and what kind of shapes do you like? Do you create your own and how do you create it? Uh, I would love to, to hear from you. Um, I think it's so exciting sharing ideas. So yes. All right. There we go. All right, everybody. Thank you again for supporting my channel and I look forward to doing more of them. Bye now.